We're here at the On3 NIL Elite Series, and I've got the number one wide receiver, not just in the country, but the entire world, DeCorian Moore from Duncanville High School, five-star wide receiver. DeCorian, let's just get right into it. Why'd you decommit from LSU? Whoa. <laughs> Dang. Um, I'd say because after taking uh, my visits, of course, to all three of uh, other my schools, I've seen different opportunities uh, at, at other schools, and I'm just willing and open to all three of them other schools. Yeah, and you know, you, you committed early. It, there was obviously things that you liked about LSU. So why did you commit to LSU in the first place? I've built a great relationship with the coaching staff and some of the players that were also committing there too. Uh, you know, obviously Caden Durham was my yeah. running back. We had a, a great relationship, and it, it's still it's still the same. Um, we were always talking about you know going to the same school and stuff like that. So um, me committing, it was just like a feeling. I, I felt like that's where I needed to be and mm -hmm. I made it happen. Was it hard to tell them that you weren't going to be committed anymore? Uh, obviously, I had, a, I had a nerve in the back of my head, but I mean, ultimately, I, I got over it. Yeah. yeah, and so did they. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so coming up next, we're going to go official visits. We're going to talk official visits. Ohio State is this weekend. Now, there was a lot of buzz about Ohio State even before you decommitted from LSU. Mm -hmm. Now it seems like, you know, that buzz is around Texas, but Ohio State gets their shot at you this weekend. What are you looking to see when you get to Columbus? Um, just seeing what they have to uh, show me. I feel like they've showed me a lot since the last two visits that I've been there. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to see the, the culture, how big the city is. Um, I seen practice. I seen how the um, team – revolves around each other. I've seen how the uh, coaches act. Um, I built a relationship with the coaching staff, and I I've sat in the receiver uh, meetings and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I, I think I've seen you know, enough, but I'm just willing to see what they got to show me. All right, where do you go after Ohio State? After Ohio State will be LSU. LSU after Ohio State. You're gonna, you're gonna go back to LSU? I'm not done with this recruitment. Okay, what do you need to, what do you need to see from the Tigers? Um, I, I feel like I need to see <laughs> a lot, actually. Um, they've showed me, you know, obviously practice and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of football stuff, but I want to see, you know, things outside of that, uh, how they develop their um, players outside of football, um, how they set them up for success after football, um, you know, um, student academics, you know, just, just a lot of everything. Mm -hmm. Get on the ground and just yeah. check it all out for an right. official visit. All right, so you are going to go to LSU, and then will it be Texas up next? Yep. All right, the in-state Longhorns. I mean, that's the team right now. I know it's just the recruiting prediction machine, but that's where you're trending right now. So what is it about the Horns, and why do, why do people think that that's where you're going to end up? I very much want to say because of my family. Most definitely because of my family. Uh, all of my family stay down there. And I don't know what they have been saying. I don't know who's been asking questions to my uncles, my brothers, my they're, But they're leaking information to the insiders, huh? I don't know what's going on. I don't remember saying anything about Texas. But family might be leaking some information, huh? Hey, there's a mole out there. There's a mole. You got it. All right. So then uh, now Oregon. Oregon's another big school. They're, they've been involved with you. There's some you got some relationship ties with them. Is that going to be the last visit you take in June? It is. And uh, what do you want to see at Oregon? Um, same thing I said about uh, Ohio State. I feel like they've showed me a, a lot as well. Um, I've built a tremendous relationship with them. Um, I feel like I can, I can trust the coaches there. Um, I'm just really just looking forward to see how the official visit go. Mm -hmm. nah, that's, never, that's really it. I've been talking a lot with the guys that have been sitting next to me about – you know, recruiting, but specifically peer-to-peer -peer recruiting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, th it seems like that's almost more effective than the coaches recruiting you. What players are recruiting you? What players are not recruiting you might be an easier way okay. to ask that question. I'm going to start off with Ohio State. The one man, oh, my Jesus, Devin Sanchez. God. He's out of Texas. You would think that Tavian uh, recruited me because he's going to be the quarterback, right. but no, it's Devin. He takes me every chance he gets, showing me what Ohio State can do, telling me uh, one on ones gonna be gonna be hectic. We gonna get better. We gonna <laughs> both make it to the league. I'm like Jesus. Um, ever since uh, I decommitted from LSU, Bryce been trying to see uh, what was up with me. Yeah, uh, I bet. Since Caden got down out of LSU, it was probably harder to tell Bryce you weren't going to LSU than it was to 
tell the coaches. You Most definitely. Good. Yeah, it's there. But he's still on you? Us. He's still on me. But um, ever since Caden got down to LSU, he's been telling me uh, I need to come back down there. I need to be with him when I come on my official visit, all that. So um, it, it's, it's, it's a number of players recruiting me and not just from my class. Do you ever hear, yeah, I was going to say, do you ever hear from Colin Simmons? Of course. <laughs> Cause he's at Texas now. That's every other day. Really? Yes. Cause he come he he comes back. Cause it's just down the street. That's like. So who's the best recruiter? The bet. I'm yeah. not answering. Who that does? Question. Of of the re, of the recruits. Um. Not the coaches. Uh, Who sells their program the best? Colin. Colin because does. He, he, Cause he he's been there. He's been yeah. there for like half a year already. So he knows more. Yeah, and um, you know, hey, how important is it that you pair yourself with a quarterback? Um, that's probably I'm not gonna say most of my decision, but it, it definitely plays a big factor. Mm -hmm. Knowing that I have a good quarterback coming in with me that I'm gonna leave with, that I'm most definite to play with, and not just you know one year without the quarterback that you know that's already there. Right. Yeah. So you do keep tabs on that. And right. what about your quarterback right now at Duncanville? Because he's kind of going through his recruitment. Right. Is there ever going to be a chance that you two could link up on the next level? Keelan I mean, Russell. Keelan do, Russell is what I'm talking about. We do have um, one of the same offers. My, is it two? Do, do he have Texas offer? Not yet, but that one could be coming soon for him. If that happens. They're recruiting him, but it I don't think they've two, officially offered him just yet. I mean, I, I, love, I love my quarterback. You yeah. know, we obviously built that tremendous relationship, put the world on notice that we got that dynamic duo. Uh, but what y'all don't know is we didn't have that duo since middle school. So we've talked about, you know, continuing that through college. Okay. So that could happen at a couple places. Not everywhere, but there are a couple places where that could work out. Yeah. But he is committed to SMU right now, so it's not, you know. Yeah, I can't, I can't you know, yeah. snatch him, but – I can provoke them. <laughs> All right, so we'll see what happens there. Um, do you talk to other wide receivers too? Because the you kind of made wide receiving recruiting pop back off heading right. into the summer because now the top three wide, really the top four, I think, are all uncommitted, but specifically Khalid Lockett and Jamie French. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys ever talk about maybe linking up on the same level? Uh, definitely. Uh, me, Khalid, and Jamie have all talked about, you know, the same schools. Um, obviously, Texas, you know, mm -hmm. we've been there numerous times. Uh, Ohio State and uh, LSU. And LSU as well, we, yeah. We all have, you know, that, that, that little top three. So, we've talked about the benefits, the advantages, and disadvantages. And uh, ultimately, we're we going to see where it ends up. Or would you rather be the wide receiver that competes against those guys? I don't have no problem with <laughs> right? that either. You know, it's all, it's all friendly, friendly competition. Yeah. Uh, we all going to make plays at the end of the day. We all just want to see each other ball. Yeah. So you kind of cut down your list, right? You mm -hmm. said, I'm decommitting, but don't contact me unless you're in my top group. That's kind of what you said. It's kind of like going in the transfer portal with a do not contact list. Like, you were basically saying, hey, thanks, but no thanks. I'm good with these schools. I was just letting it be known before my phone blew up because I, did, I didn't too much want to be on Do Not Disturb. Honestly, yeah. I wanted my phone to be normal because, you know, I have people to text and I don't be seeing their notifications either. Is there a team or two out there that could creep into this recruitment? Um, I don't think so. No? No. You're set. You feel good. So ultimately, yep. Uh, what, what's your game plan? Like, do you want to make these official visits and then decide? Do you want to take these official visits, wait till the fall, see how the teams play, and then decide? What's your timeline? Um, obviously, I'm taking the official visits. Um, I would say end of July, maybe beginning of August. That's what my mind said it. And then that's it? Or? That's, that's, that's when it's going to get shut down and the world, the world going to explode. No more decommits. Were you were you surprised that you decommitted? Like, did you ultimate? Did you think like heading into the summer that you'd be an LSU commitment? Um, I was. I, I would say I was surprised mm -hmm. that I was you know feeling the urge to uh, decommit because since I was little, you know, that was my dream school. That was the school I always wanted to be at. Yeah, oh, yeah you did. Uh, you yeah, did oh, say that's your dream school. So if it's your dream school, then. But I didn't know everything that I know now. So, I mean, after seeing a, a lot of what I've seen, I just felt like it was the right move going forward. All right. And you're about to see some more. You're going to go see some more schools. And then DeCorey and Moore could be ready for a decision. You know, we got a lot of recruiting experts, not mm -hmm. only 
that work for on three, right. but in the comment section of our video. And <laughs> let's ask them, where do you guys think Decorian Moore is going to land? Let us know, comment section below. Well, you've made it to the end of today's video, but there's hundreds more videos on the On3 Recruits channel for you to check out. And also, while you're here, hit subscribe.